Hey YouTube. So, uh, something I want to talk about today. I wanted to talk about it last week. I didn't get around to it. But, um, the thing, thing on the Flat Earth channels lately I've seen on several of them. This thing about, uh, Flat Earthers who are, aren't religious or who are religious, quote unquote. Now I have to say, uh, I know when these, when these Flat Earth channels who aren't about Jesus or God or anything, but they're flat, just like flat earth channels they talk about uh, you don't have to be religious or you don't have to know jesus to be a flat earther well what, what gets under my skin a little bit is i know they're talking about flat earthers like myself who really know jesus personally and have him in their heart because there's a lot of flat earthers and channels that are like that and uh they call us religious if, if we know jesus and we talk about jesus and the flat earth to them, that's being religious. If you know Jesus like I do, you, you, it's not religious. Religions belong to Satan. And um, to me, a religion is a big organized thing. I don't go to any church. I don't belong to any denomination or any religion. Um, I know Jesus personally. And the Bible says where two or, two or three of us are together, Jesus is going to be in our midst. I don't go to any building of a church. I don't belong to any denomination. Now, to me, a religion... Is a big organized thing with big churches and stuff like Catholics or Mormons or Jehovah's Witnesses. You know, big big time religions like that have nothing to do with knowing Jesus personally. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't people in those religions who do know Jesus, but I think in general, you know, a lot of those people are lukewarm. They think they they think they're Christian and stuff, but they really are not on fire for Jesus. And it seems to me that most of the flat Earth channels who are about Jesus and God, are, are true true people who know Jesus, and, they, and they're not pushing any religion, you know? So, uh, to me, it doesn't seem like there's any religious flat earthers. It seems like people that get to the point of knowing the flat earth really know God and Jesus personally. And I haven't seen any Catholic flat earth channels or Jehovah Witness flat earth channels or anything like that. I see people putting out flat, st flat earth stuff who know Jesus. Um, so, you know, from people on the outside who don't know Jesus, uh, I guess that to them we're religious, but, uh, we're not. That religion, religion has nothing to do with knowing Jesus and knowing God personally. So, um, I wanted to, I wanted to, I wanted to clarify that because I don't see any religious flat earthers. I see flat earthers who know, who know God and know Jesus and are just in awe of God's awesome flat earth creation like I am, um. I'm a big fan of God. I'm a big fa fan of his flat earth. So I wanted to get that off my chest. Um, you know, sometimes I get to, I get into these into these comment into these threads in the comment section with with people, um, and you know they they want me to prove oh Jesus has never been proven and you know uh, you know this flat earth has nothing to do with with that and you can't prove the Bible is just a fairy tale and. You know, they get, they, it seems like it really irritates them when you bring up Jesus. And I think the people that are really irritated like that, who feel like it's necessary to get into a big, long uh, discussion or argument with me in a, in a comment thread, those are the people, I think, who really are being controlled by demons and by Satan because it bothers them so much. Whereas, you know, most people will just, all right, well, you believe in Jesus, I don't. And they'll just keep moving on. There's certain type of people that feel like they have to put you down if you know Jesus. And I think these are the people that are that are controlled by the demons. And you know, I think a lot of these flat earth channels that that don't talk about Jesus and, and the creation, but they you know they, they put out flat earth proof and they seem like reasonable people and stuff. You know, I pray and I hope that eventually that their flat earth studies and stuff will lead them to the Lord. The way it, it has led a lot of people to the Lord already and a lot of atheists and stuff have, have come around to 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 believe in God and to and to know Jesus. Um, so I, I think the flat earth is a good start for a lot of these people. Um, you know, there's some of them I don't think ever, ever will, but, you know, Satan's a, a master of deception. And, you know, I, I, I am sub some of these channels. I, I learned about flat earth, like with Jaronism, I taught me a little bit about flat earth and I used to watch the Globusters and stuff. But, uh, you know, they're, they're always pushing the zeitgeist, uh, whatever, what are they calling it now? The, uh, the astro theology crap that they push, you know, about, that's just, it's just stupid, you know, and it, it all comes from people really not understanding what Jesus is, and, and you can't, you know, 
to know Jesus is not is a supernatural thing. It's not an intellectual decision. Whereas you're like, well, I studied Buddhism and I studied Hinduism and uh, Mormons and I, I checked into you know the pagan stuff. But you know, Christianity really makes sense to me, and I think I think I'm going to be a Christian. Well, I think some people do that, but they don't really have Jesus in them. You know, if you know Jesus like I do, it's a, it's a supernatural experience. You don't you don't choose to be you don't choose to, to be one of God's children. He's already chosen you. You were chosen a long time ago to be one of his children. And you know if you and if you and if you are one of his children, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I never knew any you know, I only got saved a year and a few months ago. If you're interested, go back and, and check out my Jesus testimony I put out a few weeks ago on this channel. And I'm still not even done with that. Zora Um I'm still not even done with my whole testimony, but you know, when the Holy Spirit jumped into me, it was it was like a ton of bricks chopped, dropped on my head, or, or I stuck my finger in a an electrical socket, electrical outlet. You know, it was nothing I chose. It it just it just it was a supernatural event. And you know, when you know Jesus like that, you you can't you can't ever tell me that Jesus doesn't exist. You know, like uh like I was starting to say, you know, they ask on these threads, uh, well, Jesus has never been proven. Well, you know, a lot of stuff you can't prove the way you want the, the way these people want you to prove it. Like, uh, um, you know, let's say you're happy or sad. You you can't prove to someone you're happy, but you you you, you nobody's going to tell you when you're not. You know that you are. You know that you're sad. You know if your feelings have been hurt. Um, anything in the emotional realm, you can't really prove. Um. But you know, but it's very real to you, and you know that it's real, and it is real, and and so even physical things like uh, you know if you're you're hot or cold, you can't prove to someone you're you're too hot. If they're not, you know, what if you're from Florida or something, and you come up north, and you know it's eighty degrees, but you feel but you're cold, and you put a down coat on, and you're still cold, and the guys like, wow, you can't be cold. It's it's eighty degrees, you got your coat on. You know, don't be don't be ridiculous. There's no way you're cold. Well, if you're cold, you're cold, and you're, then no matter what someone else tells you that you're not cold, you know, you know that you're cold. It's like you know when Jesus lives in your heart. There's nobody's gonna ever tell me that Jesus does not exist. He's he's realer than this fake reality that Satan's created. He's he is the truth. You know, if you watch my testimony, I became a truther before I knew Jesus. I mean, that's, the Holy Spirit's alive on YouTube, and, and that's where why truthers are on YouTube, because Jesus is the truth, you know? He's the way, the truth, and the life, and I, I came to realize that through YouTube by, be, by becoming a truther first. Then shortly after that, I came to the flat earth. You know, last week I put out that flat earth dream I had. So, um, I kind of lost my train of thought. But uh, you know some of these channels that I watch that are that are that are good good flat Earth channels that also know Jesus. I mean, there's some of them who really put out some good flat Earth stuff. Uh, my channel I've been watching a lot lately is um, um, the Truth is Stranger Than Fiction, and he's putting out all these flat Earth testimonies of of people coming to flat Earth and knowing God and stuff, and they're really they're really powerful. But then he puts out a lot of really good flat earth proof. Same with um, Ephesians 612 channel. You know, he puts out a lot of really good flat earth truth. But but these guys know Jesus, you know. They're very calm talking. They don't curse all the time. And, um, you know, they're, it's powerful. And then, of course, you know, I watch Brother Daryl all the time. But, you know, he's he's not really a flat earth channel. He's a... He's a good, he's a good teach. He's a good Bible teacher, and he does Bible studies. But he's a watchman, you know. He's an end times watchman. But um, you know, he's he is a flat earther, but his channel's not about like proving the flat earth. But uh, he can prove he proves it scripturally, you know. And he's done he's done some stuff on proving the flat earth through the Bible and through science and stuff. But that's not his primary thing, like some of these other channels. But um, you know, I watch Brother Daryl all the time, and he you know he's a really good teacher. And he's a good he's a good end times watchman, but he doesn't concentrate on on the flat Earth, although he, he many talks about it. But it's like those other channels I mentioned, they they spend most of their time talking about flat Earth, and and but they are they do know Jesus, you know. So um, who are some of the other ones that I watch? Celebrate Truth, you know. He's you know he he puts out a lot of good stuff, and uh, he's a little more. I don't know if you can't say mainstream flat Earth is kind of like a like a uh, oxymoron. Is is there such a thing as being mainstream flat Earth? <laughs> you know, like Mark Sargent, I guess, and Eric Dubé. You would you would call mainstream flat Earth. <laughs> but you know, I 
I, I unsub Jaronism. I unsub Globusters. Um, I, I'm not sure if I up, up, sub, unsubbed Mark Sargent or Dubay yet. I, I, I'm going to get around to unsubbing them. Um, I've gotten everything I, I can get out of them. And, uh, you know, Dubay especially because he's, you know, he's very anti-Christian. Uh, and, uh, you know, if I need to point, if I, I use those guys if I'm trying to point someone in the direction of Flat Earth. They have a lot of good proof. You know, it's like the whole thing of you're either in the sergeant's camp or Dubay's camp. I'm really in neither one of them's camp, you know, but um, neither one of them knows Jesus. But they both put out good scientific proofs, you know. Sergeant uh, has all the good interviews with, uh, with the engineers and the pilots and the surveyors and stuff. So, you know, they're useful for, for proving flat earth to people who don't know about it. But that's as far as it goes. They haven't. They haven't gone. The, they haven't. They haven't gone the whole route to, to knowing the real truth and realizing that the globe deception is just just one of the many deceptions, just a, a, a foundational deception that Satan has created of this reality. So, um, you know, they're useful, but you know, and then some of these people, like the guy, the Scottish guy who does the uh, the interviews in the street. You know, he's he was. I watched him for a little while, but then he gets into these big cursing things and. You know, anybody who curses all the time, you know, it's 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 hard for me to to, to pallet. Now, if they if they ever use the Lord's name in vain, forget it. I'm I'm off that channel in a second. But you know, I used to I used to curse like a like a sailor till till the Lord under my heart. And that's another thing that you can't prove you can't prove Jesus real, but you can circumstantially if you knew me before I was saved. Uh, you know, when I drank all the time and smoked weed my whole life for forty years and spent twenty five years drunk or half drunk cursing pissed off angry i should say i still slip into into some bad language i never use the lord's name in vain though ever you know even when i could when i was dropping the f-bomb every other word i never said the lord's name in vain because you know he was he, i was predestined i had no idea i was ever going to be be saved by jesus but i never used his name in vain but um you know if you knew me before i was saved and then you know me now i'm, I'm a completely different person it was easy. I mean, once once the Holy Spirit jumped into me, I, I gave up drinking instantly and smoking pot instantly. Never even thought about it since. You know, when the Lord lives in you, when Jesus lives in you, it's, it's easy to do that stuff. You know, you, you don't you have no desire to sin. And, and I've struggled with some things. You know, I struggle with forgiveness. You know, especially right after I was saved. That, like I say, giving up drinking and smoking was easy. Some of the uh, some of the harder ones were uh, forgiveness. You know, I've, I've I've been wronged pretty pretty hard by some people over over the years, and that was real hard for me to to get over and and to forgive them. And I do forgive them, and I always pray that that, that the spirit of forgiveness grows in my heart, and it does. But that was a real tough one. Lust lust was hard for a while, and I, it still rears rears its ugly head sometimes. But um, you know. We live in our sinful bodies, so it's, 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 you know, there's some things that are going to be hard to do, but when the Holy Spirit lives in you, you know, you, you don't want to sin, and, and you really, you don't sin anymore, and occasionally you, you might have some little slip up, but it's not, nothing, nothing big and nothing you intended to do, um, so, in a way, that, if, if you, like, I know people, just the people that know me are just, you know, they're, they're pretty amazed, how what a big change it's I it, it is now in my life and how I am, you know I, I made my living growing pot for for thirty five years, you know I talk all about that in my Jesus testimony if you haven't heard it yet, but uh, you know, so now now I have a regular job and stuff but, all right so I just wanted to clarify that uh, you know being religious and knowing Jesus are two different things, and as far as the flat Earth goes. Uh, I don't know any religious flat earthers. If somebody can point me to a Catholic flat earth channel, or a uh, Buddhist flat earth channel, or uh, you know any type of religion, and I know Jehovah's Witnesses don't have a flat earth channel. I know the Mormons don't have a flat earth channel, but uh, there's some really good flat earth channels who know Jesus. So that's my little talk on that. All right, I got a few more topics. We'll see if I get to any more today. Things are kind of quiet down here at the Flatter Chicken House. They're all outside. I still haven't killed those two roosters yet. It's supposed to be warm, like Monday and Tuesday. I'll probably get around to doing that. So, all right, you guys. Love you all very much. And uh, comment below.
Take care and God bless.